There's a great, you probably know it, Bruce Lee quote from Enter the Dragon. Do you remember when he was like his, it was the, uh, one of his students, and he told the kid, it's like a finger pointing away to the moon. Yeah. And he slapped him in the head, don't concentrate on the finger, you're going to lose all that heavenly glory around yeah. you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So back to being present. People d- really don't appreciate what he did. Because what he did was introduce martial arts in an exciting way mm-hmm. to the whole world. Yes. Everybody was wearing kung fu outfits, and ev- everybody wanted to be like Bruce Lee, the coolest guy that ever existed in movies. Oh, dude! All of a sudden, you got this little rip Chinese guy who's fucking everybody up, <laughs> yeah, and-, and everyone thought they were Bruce Lee. Yeah. By the way, I remember get, dr- getting my first pair of nunchucks, <laughs> but I had hey, yourself in the back of the head I had, I had enough times that I was like, "Oh, they make rubber ones <laughs> that you're supposed to learn with." Yeah. Dude, I did that, but and what did he do? There was, I feel like he was. He was groundbreaking in a way, right? When he came over here, there was something about what he was teaching. Was it Jeet Kune Do? Yes. Right. So he was was he the first, or he was taking a version of it? And well, he was the first to combine. The thing was, there was a thing about loyalty in martial arts. Like if you were a judo practitioner and you started training at a kickboxing gym, people would frown upon that. Like they, why are you training Muay Thai when you're a, a judo practitioner? Judo is the way. And the same thing was, I had a very open-minded Taekwondo coach and who actually encouraged me to start boxing and doing some other things. Yeah. But most of the time, that's not the case. A lot of like Kung Fu practitioners, they don't want you practicing karate. They only want you going to a Kung Fu place. Mm-hmm. What Bruce Lee said is use everything that's useful. Everything that's useful. And he put together a system of martial arts that incorporated everything that he learned from grappling from Gene LaBelle yeah. and karate from Chuck Norris and Tang Soo Do and you know, Kung Fu from Yip Man, from Wing Chun. He put it all together with Western boxing and yeah. wrestling. He realized like there's so many different ways to fight and the, the style is having no style. The way is no way. Like figuring out. You said that. Yes, yes. Yeah. Figuring out how to adapt and move to every situation to be like water. That's right. And be formless. Yeah. That's right. And he taught that philosophy, and that philosophy eventually became mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee was the first true mixed martial artist because he was the, the first, like, true guru that was shouting it from the top of the hills. Use everything that's useful, yeah. everything, and from all styles, yeah. and put it together. But back then, that was really frowned upon. Real, it was like kind of dangerous. Like people would go after you if you disrespected kung fu. Or yeah, you, yeah. To prove you either prove you, so not only try to prove you wrong, but like physically try and go. Yeah, after you, they right? you were disrespecting their art, which was like literally like a religion. To a lot of people, uh, martial arts are very cult like. And when you get into a martial arts school, the, a lot of times the instructor is almost like a cult leader. Mm-hmm. You think that person is invincible, they can't be beaten by anyone. Yeah. You know, you have these like weird ideas about your master. Yeah. I mean, you even call them a master, you know? And so there's this like very rigid thinking that used to exist but, before. But not anymore. No. no. no there's no the mar- referential the UFC, to, to master or. No, the UFC just that away. Yeah, like there's still schools out there that run like that, but they're not legitimate and they're not the good ones. The right. really good schools, they they're just teaching you something beautiful. They're mm. teaching you how to use your body in a way that is is challenging and effective, and it makes you so much more confident. And it makes you, if a physical altercation happens, you have a massive advantage over almost anyone. Yeah, protect yourself. Yeah. 